welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some unyielding kegs. We're going to be playing some unyielding spirit and powder kegs, this cool combo here for our first deck here on this meme tier Monday stream. Um, so we're going to have new card boom ship, which we've been playing in a few different decks recently. Um, but this one, of course, is going to be, uh, you know, going to be more of a combo oriented deck with the unyielding spirit. So basically our goal is if we can can put this on a powder keg where can't you know grant the ally I can't take damage or die. And we put that on on you know like our powder keg, then it will still um have all of the spells and skills deal an extra point of damage, but it won't destroy me because it can't die. The powder kegs will still stack as well. So like let's say we have two powder kegs in play. Then we play a boom ship that will do three damage and then it will some summon three more powder kegs. So now we'll have a total of five powder kegs because the first two won't die. Maybe we'll play another boom ship. And then, you know, then now that does six damage, put another six powder kegs on there. Now we have 11 powder kegs and those powder kegs don't die. And so basically what we try to do is try to stack up as many powder kegs as we can because that will make a lot of these, these cards do much extra, a whole bunch of extra damage. But really what we're looking at, you know, like Riptide Rex would do a ton of damage, for example. But really what we're looking to do is stack up that extra damage and or stack up all those powder kegs and then have warning shots. We have three warning shots. We have three Yordle Grifters that can also create warning shots because that's burst speed damage. Again, if we have like six powder kegs in play with Unyielding Spirit, then a warning shot will do seven damage to them and it will not blow up our, our powder keg. So we could have three warning shots in hand, six powder kegs in play, and then boom, just 21 damage, burst speed, just go warning shot, warning shot, warning shot. That's 21 damage, the game's over. So that's kind of, that's our combo, basically, is unyielding spirit with those powder kegs. And and uh, besides that, we got just a whole bunch of cool pi uh, piratey uh, bilge water cards. Y'all know them very well. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have all of the access to all of those kind of cards as well. All right, so that, that's our combo, Unyielding Kegs. We're going to go play our five games in normal with it being at Meme Tier Monday. Let's go have some fun. Yeah, hopefully we don't see any... Yeah, Hush. Hush would be sad. <laughs> the Hush Powder Keg. <clears throat> Why no Dreadway? Um, I don't know. Like, again, so like the this is a viewer-submitted donation deck. Um, we did build the Zoe's Peak deck today on stream, but the other two were just viewer submitted decks that we're going to be playing. Um, Dreadway would be awesome, doubling the damage, but I'm guessing the reason why it's not in here is just because it is a 9 mana card, and so therefore that is going to be pretty slow being a 9 mana card. So we'll keep like Dreadway deck hand and Sharp Sight. Um, I'll keep a Salvage. I don't know if I should or not. It's a good card, but of course, it's it's not something you necessarily want to play early on in the game of, like, take time off. Never again will we fall to dragon fire. Don't let them through! Well, alright, that's a trade I'm very happy with. Boom, boom ship. Could definitely boom ship that. It's either boom ship or I just cast fortune croaker. Uh, probably just play fortune croaker and just draw the card. Yeah. I don't change fate if I can see it. My shield is yours. So I could turn basically by playing sharp side is I would be turning sharp side into just a a two two, right? Because it wouldn't like trade with anything, but I would just turn it into a two two. So I'm thinking, if if everything goes perfectly, I can cast boom ship this turn, save my three spell mana, and next turn on yielding spirit on the powder keg. But I guess. Even if everything goes perfectly and that happens, I don't really have any payoff for doing that. Fire and 
fury burn in me. Trade this way. Yeah, imme immediately. Yes, I I know that in the deck there there are plenty of payoffs. You know, for that would make a rain, twisted fate. You know, riptide rex, all that kind of stuff. But just immediately, I didn't have any payoffs for doing that. Dead men tell my Suffer my fury. My steel is yours. I'm gonna catch you. You die. You think I should save the warning shot? I am more than I see. Yeah, that's 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 pretty fair. Yeah, I, I, I could definitely see wanting to save it. I was thinking that you know I could get some damage with this. Get some damage going with this gangplank. Level up, but we're probably just not leveling up that gangplank, are we? Uh, that was the worst case scenario. That was definitely the worst case scenario. Yeah, so the good the good news is now they don't have single combat for my powder keg. Right here. Come on, challenge the powder keg. Need something pretty awesome. So, Petty Officer plus a Powder Keg makes it so then we have two Powder Kegs so that we're going to be doing three damage with Mega Rain. Um, if I go. Boom ship right now we could do two and then I gain two more powder kegs, so then we have three, so then this make it rain would do four. All hands on deck. Yeah, one mana short yeah, this would definitely be nice to have to have access to two of these three cards instead of just one of the three cards. But obviously, that's not going to matter. That would have been a better card to have last turn. Um, but yeah. All right, so I should not have I should not have kept the salvage. I kept that salvage in my opening hand, and I never had an ability to play it. Shouldn't have kept that. Okay, well, this looks kind of like a nightmare, because this is this is going to be a hush deck. And they're playing Ionia, so they're going to have, they're going to have, like, Deny and Unyielding Spirit. I don't know if they'll have, uh, you know, they have Deny for Unyielding Spirit. They could have, like, Will of Ionia. I don't know if they'll actually have Will of Ionia, but... Um, so I guess I mulligan this Unyielding Spirit, even though it's it's our combo. I don't know. 
I kind of want to just keep it. You know, like, it's it's meme tier day. This is our combo. So I kind of want to keep it. I guess I'll mulligan it for now. We could find another one. Like, our, our hand's not bad for just, like, generic Bilgewater cards, right? You know, like, Petty Officer, and then Yordle Grifter, or, or Twisted Fate, and then Gangplank. I bear a message from... Oh, hey, what's that? Stow the rations! Shackle the prisoners! Did they, did they not see my Daring Poro? I don't think they saw the Daring Poro. Whoa. Go get it, Zoe. Alright. Now they have a zero mana Zoe. So red card is worse against Pill Cascade, but it's better if it works because you, you get the guaranteed Nexus damage. Hmm. Hey Targaryen King. And Mind Splitter with a raid. Thank you, Mind Splitter. No, I haven't thought one second about building with Aphelios yet. Which I probably won't until the car until the card's out. Too many too many other decks and everything that we're playing every day. But by the time by the time Aphelios is, is out, um, we're probably gonna have a, a new balance patch update, so things are gonna change also before that, so it's just it's just not something I'm worried about. If I play the game plank, then we get the powder keg and then they get to challenge and kill my powder keg immediately. So, like, this would just let them kill a powder keg. Um, I guess that's still... Yeah, I guess that's still stronger than just playing Yordle Grifter. Like, that's... So that's what I was kind of debating between is playing that or Yordle Grifter. But the powder keg's gone. We can kind of wait a little bit on this. By playing the Gangplank, we're waiting just a little bit on leveling up this Twisted Fate. And maybe they won't be quite as scared of it. I'm not greedy. My friends do. Very slight wait. Alright, so we're at four. I don't really know how to get I guess they're gaining they're healing their next for seven, but that's kind of strange they didn't flunk. Hello. 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 Safety will cost you. Wow, singular will? That's scary. Yeah, their deck does look really random, doesn't it? It could just be random cards that they have. So I have ten cards in hand. I'll take my time. So I have to get rid of that in order. I have to get rid of a card in order to cast Salvage to level up Twisted Fate. Now this game's heating up. Yeah, it does look like a new player. So Gangplank's Parlay is going to kill the 4-2. 
now because we'll have red card will happen first, so we'll do one damage to their nexus. Also, I could go boom shift, but I don't have room for a powder keg. I'm a people person. This will just give me an open attack. Alright, so how much damage am I doing? 3, 6, 9, 12, 14, 19? 19 damage currently? There we go. It was in the cards. Vladimir Blom. This looks like a pretty good hand. You know, for our deck. We'll keep it. This isn't necessarily going to be an easy matchup, though. Our units are smaller than theirs. Our damage-based things aren't necessarily that great at killing, like, Braum, for example. Like, if they just go, like, Scargrounds, Braum, Vladimir, that's not going to be easy to beat. Yeah, again, they probably don't have an answer to Unyielding Spirit, though, so that's that's going to be something that we're going to hopefully to draw into. You don't. I'm not expecting them to have an answer for that card. Um, I guess... I guess I have to play this to not take all this damage, but... Like, I want to, I want to play Deckhand and then have the Powder Keg and then be able to Boom Ship, you know, afterwards. So I would prefer not to play this first... That's what I prefer. Thank you, Arani. Thank you so much for resubbing here for the second month. You are awesome. I think I just shouldn't take seven damage, but then again, I have nothing for this turn now. In the War Mother's name. If, if I would have taken seven damage, then I could have played Deckhand, Boom Ship killed this Unscarred Reaver. Couldn't have drawn you last turn, Petty Officer. <laughs> so I, when I had nothing else to do, couldn't have just had you had you to play? That would have been too easy. Too easy. They're passing with all that mana. I think I like seeing them pass with wasting all that mana. And so we'll just go to the next turn whenever we play these two cards. You know, I'm thinking Boom Ship, then Twisted Fate. So I could go red card and do three damage to both of those. They use like a transfusion. They could save this. That'd be three out of, that'd be adding additional three out of four for Vladimir. So Vladimir would be four out of five. And now, but no, I guess it's red card. I 
I don't know about this, though. Vladimir is really scary. It's a very good champion. Okay, so that didn't work. But I guess the good news is they used one of their Culling Strikes, which is one of their only removal spells. They used that on an Unyielding Spirit. Or, sorry, on, on a Powder Keg instead of on a Twisted Faint. You love me. I'm not greedy. My friends Wow, that's the worst possible card to nab. <laughs> that's literally the worst card to nab. Uh, literally the worst card to nab. Where can I, find a full I can throw it back into the deck, I guess. You picked the losing side! Then he needs you to pay up. Another day! Behold! My glory! I mean, I guess... I guess Unscarred Reaver is a one-mana card I can play. For a blocker. I guess it's not the worst possible thing. I can just throw it down as a blocker. Because if I go pick a card right now, and I would need, like, Salvage to level up Twisted Fate, and that, then I'd only have three additional mana after that. So this could be something we could play for a very small amount of mana. Which could be valuable. Or they just have a second cooling strike. I guess that's a possibility. them wasting their mana again. And, you know, instead of, like, attacking for two, got them to waste their mana. War Mason, reporting for duty. And now I'm gonna go gold card. Make the Empire proud. Never Keep this Vladimir from attacking. I guess it involves attacking. Gaze upon me. They're at ten. Is it the boosters? Who knows? Do have a lot of powder kegs. Whoa. We have to kill Vladimir. That's pretty big. I'd never let it back up, Vladimir. Uh never mind. I guess this round star is going to kill the Twisted Fate while it's seven. Yeah, before we draw our one card. Never mind. So I shouldn't. I shouldn't have played that. Pick a card. That was a mistake. 
That was a mistake. I should have gone Fortune Croaker. I don't know why I was thinking that the Twist of Fate would level up first. Yep, I need to play Croaker Butcher. I had that wrong. I had that wrong. I was I was thinking that I was going to draw the four cards before the, the damage, and yeah, I just, I just had that wrong. Yep, I need to play more blockers. My bad. So yeah, I, I took the wrong line. I focused on leveling up Twisted Fate to not have it die to the one damage, but I needed to play blockers. So that was incorrect by me. So I wonder what Teemo and Twisted Fate's going to be like. I wonder, basically, I wonder how aggressive they're going to be. If I can keep like an 8-mana spell. Obviously, against these regions, I'm yielding spirits good against these regions. Or if I can keep an 8-mana spell. Oh, no. Probably can't keep two 8-mana spells. But I guess we'll see. I don't know for how they how they took a while before they passed on turn one. I I didn't really want to play Jagged Butcher, and then they played Teemo after the Jagged Butcher, and then hit me with Teemo. So I just went to my turn. That's a good card. And I I gotta play. Petty Officer right now. Got to just play something. Um, playing it and getting the Powder Keg. They would just kill the Powder Keg with the Dreadweight Tech Hand. Right? Like, we're, we're not going to be able to get Powder Keg on Yielding Spirit yet. We'll wait on that. Sharp Sight's good. That's a good one. I'm always up for a round or two. All that glitters. Put on me mask, secure me tail, stop to die. Get a year lane. That's another good one. That's a good call. Sharp Sight can protect a, a keg. That's a good call. So now we're now we're at the point where we can start. Um, where I think I can go like Petty Officer Powder Keg, try to unyielding spirit next turn. I do kind of need to kill this Twisted Fate, though. I don't really... We know exactly what we're doing here. This is a real spin to win. Alright, I'm sorry, Powder Keg. Just have to try to kill this twisted fate. Deal me in. Sorry, don't get to unyielding spirit you. Hmm. Now this game's heating up. So I can save my Twisted Fate, but it's going to die to Red Card. Or I guess, yeah, I guess they'd have to they'd have to draw something they could play right here for Red Card. 
this turn. I think it's worth it. Blue as the serpent. Wow, that is so big for us. That is very important. Oh, yeah. Can I realistically just pass? Yeah, I think so. I think the onus is on them to kill my Twisted Fate right now. So that's 10 cards in hand. So again, they're going to have to play stuff to not have 10 cards in hand. I put two one mana five fives into my deck that don't have puff caps. Mm. Why can't you tap out? <laughs> I want them to tap out. Real bad for my unyielding spirit. The one, obviously, I want to unyielding spirit this twisted fate. Yeah, Gangplank's still a good attacker. We could parlay the four one. No surprise there. Discarded Jagged Butcher. Okay, so should I... I wonder if I should just attack with everything, though. Maybe I just do that. Maybe I just attack with everything. And then parlay afterwards. Kind of see how they block. Yes, ideally, yeah, we could get Unyielding Spirit on a Powder Keg. Ideally, I know, I know it's not designed for Twisted Fate, but like right now with the Hexcore Foundry, um, it being on Twisted Fate would be pretty sweet. Basically, it being on anything would be pretty sweet. Gotta go with the flow. I think they know what I'm doing. I think they have a mystic shot and they know what I'm trying to do. Fordex says do it. Alright, Cordex says do it, so we're gonna do it. That's too bad. You die. We'll do this so gangplank's at three out of five. Yeah, they just drew that. That was the card they just drew off the Sump Treasure. Spin, spin, spin. You win. Be nothing left when I'm dying. Just the screams of a dying. Oh, you think I should just Unyielding Spirit again? I was kind of, I was planning on, so my plan was like, just go with the Powder Keg, then go with the Boom Ship. And then after Boom Ship, go red card with Twisted Fate for, like, three damage and, like, kill all this stuff and then attack and kill them. But you think I should just Unyielding Spirit again? Alright, you want me to go for Unyielding Spirit? Alright, well, if you want me to go for Unyielding Spirit, we will attack. A 
And yeah, they've, they've drawn four cards since their last turn. Only 12 cards left. Wow. Okay. No removal spells. Wow. I don't change fate, but I can see it. That's gonna make this very interesting. What did we get? Ooh. Man, we have so many cool options now. No, don't, don't challenge. What are you doing challenging that thing? You'll go no farther. Best run while you can. So basically, our 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 other units in play just don't matter anymore. The only thing that matters is us not dying. So I can throw away all of these things. I should have blocked. I should have had my gangplank block the slot bot. That's, I should have done that. Oh, you want you want me to go gangplank first? I I just want to clear this board, and then you know I still have Mega Rain available. That is pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. I didn't realize it did all those those kind of animations. Yeah, like we we got this game, but yeah, it doesn't. That's true. It doesn't really matter what we're doing at this point. That is true. Does it always do that? Cool, got Swap Bot out of here. Well, that's really cool. It's possible we can mill them. I guess we can't draw the champions, though. Because they're down to just five cards left. We can draw one with Yordle Grifter, like they draw two for turn with the Hexcore Foundry. I guess I could cast the warning shot and kill them though. I kind of want to mill them. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Down to two cards left. There we go. All right, GGs. We got to Unyielding Spirit, Powder Keg, and blow everything up. Okay, really in Soul Leona. The deck that I think is the best deck in the format. This will be a good test. Okay, our four mana cards are awesome. But are we still gonna be alive at that point? Probably. My faith protects me. Yippee! I talk to spirits. These are my wrong. Warning I shot. Faith, but I can see it. Okay, 16. Hmm. Shining gifts from the sky. I'm always I will stun that. No attacks, please. Hold it, partner. Thank you. Sure. 
Sharp sight can be good. Yeah, you don't want to cross. Ooh. That's not a bad one to nab. I can keep them from attacking again with like some big challenger. We will not suffer unbelievers. They will not escape punishment. No, I guess I pass. Yeah, I just pass. That's fun. Love our electricity. Like fate. Yeah, and then blocking with the 5-3 makes it so my, my Mega Rain can kill it. And already leveled up Leona. Like this would be really impressive if we could actually beat this deck. They've had... Yeah, you know, like, this is just, like, the ideal hand for them. So if we can win this, this would be very impressive. Likely that we defeat them. It'd be very impressive, nonetheless. Another value of coin. You cannot sway me. No mercy for heretics. Ever vigilant. You get yours. to just create another Daybreak card in hand. I'm not greedy. My friends though. We are nabbing good cards from them. Single combat and hush. So we're only at three. Spell shield. Come on, spell shield. Keep up, keep up. Mm. <laughs> Could really use an unyielding spirit draw. We definitely use drawing an unyielding spirit right here. Okay. Okay, that's not the worst. That's not the worst. Let's do this. But unyielding spirit would be the best. And so yeah, we got Hush out of their hand. That's good. So that's two hushes gone. I rarely forget and never forget. That's why we respect you, Captain. I think I may just have to red card though. I guess I can wait a turn. So I don't get to play both of my two units, Twisted Fate and the Riptide Rex. Glorious light rains down. I'm always 
these up for a round or two. I can't have these just huge overwhelm things. They're so the big. Of the sun and my faith are one. The sun's splendor revealed. Wow, no attacks. What are they doing? They just don't even attack with any of these. When I have, I have like no blockers. The thing that's not so bad for my opponent is they probably just have, you know, like a bunch more units they want to play anyway, so it, I'm just kind of um, giving them more space to play more things. Like that. Your favorite star. I created it. Looks like trouble. My shield. I don't. I just don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. That's quite enough. All right. Well, they're out of hush. But unfortunately, I'm out of good cards. Great hand. They had they had a wonderful hand, and that's you know the probably the best deck in the format. And their hand was curved out perfectly. Had the multiple hush. Yeah, had all three of these Solari cards. Great hand. No shame in losing that, that matchup. Alright, so there was our unyielding kegs. Um, it wasn't easy to pull off. We only got to pull it off one game with having unyielding spirit and powder kegs. Um, I kind of wouldn't mind just having three unyielding spirits in here. Like, maybe instead of, like, three Riptide Rex, right? Because, like, I, you know, it's not it's not easy to pull off, and I kind of wouldn't mind just having a, another one of those, but... Um, I like Jagged Butcher a lot. I could see playing a third Jagged Butcher. Um, like, there's there's some good stuff in this this deck, right? Like, there's some some really powerful cards. There is some good stuff in here, but it's, you know, it's, you know, this is why it's a meme tier deck, right? Like, we're just trying to play this uh, combo that's, you know, not always easy to pull off. I liked, I liked Make It Rain with the, with the Powder Kegs, and I also really like Jagged Butcher. Um... We're, we're really heavy on the fours. I could definitely see reducing some of these fours. And so that's probably Sprayfin is the, the four drop to reduce. Maybe to, to uh, you know, have something a little bit cheaper. Um, yeah, I, I think that just, like, just not changing very much, but just, like, something that I, I would probably change is I would just take out the third Sprayfin and just get another Jagged Butcher in here. That's just something very slight, but that's something that I would think I'd want to do with how we played those, how just, you know, like playing through those five games um, frequently, you know, like we had a good amount of expensive cards and it wasn't always easy for us to um, kind of stop our opponents early on and, and things like that. And yeah, I think I'd just rather have just another Jacket Butcher in here. I could see that. All right, but there we go. That's that's Unyielding Kegs. Uh Pretty awesome when it works and uh, really fun to do with having Unyielding Spirit Powder Keg. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.